Good morning, friends. Sammy here with Blue Feather Homestead. Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a fabulous Friday so far. It is Friday. It's pretty warm out here in Oklahoma, but it's early enough that it's just not a scorcher yet. Um, so anyway, I thought it'd be a great day to take you on a garden tour. I'm out here enjoying my free lawn chair that I got the other day, and I'll tell you a little bit about that in the video. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get started. So I guess over here is just as good place as any. Um, I can start with the tomatoes over here. Uh, this box here was here when we moved in. And I have four rows of tomatoes. I'm sorry, four tomatoes in this row here. Four tomato plants here, four tomato plants here. And then we just have these trellises um, to tie them up to. And he put boards in here and um, put the trellises on. And as you saw in the clip before, those are all the green tomatoes that I picked off our plants because of the heat. They just were not turning. We did leave a bunch of tomatoes on, um, hoping that they might ripen up if we ever get a cold spell. So we do have some tomatoes on the vine. There's a kitty cat. Anyway, so then here is our cucumber trellis. And as you can see, they have just gone crazy. We're still getting a ton of uh, cucumbers. I went ahead and pruned those down at the bottom. I made that video. And you can see that they're still really cleaned up at the bottom and they have just really gone crazy. And there is a pollinator. Let's see if I can zoom in on the bumblebee. Isn't that pretty? I try to come out here early enough to where we can catch all the beautiful pollinators. But so we still have a lot of cucumbers growing here um, on this trellis. Now this box here is the one that my husband uh, built for me and my son. They put that together. That wasn't here. We decided to put this here this year to get my to get the garden kind of organized because before, like I said in my first tour video, is that I had stuff everywhere. I mean it was just growing everywhere wild, and I thought I'm going to have a more manicured garden this year. So I did. We did these boxes. Um, here's some peppers. I'll try to stay out of the shadow here. There's some pepper plants. They've done pretty good. We've got quite a few peppers off of here. There's a fake snake, as you can see down there. Um, husband ordered a bunch of those snakes because our barn cats decided to use these boxes as potties, so we don't do that anymore. And that's a, also another pepper plant that we have here. I've cut most of those off. And then this one here. The weather is just getting so hot, it seems like things are have stopped producing. There's another pepper. So there's that box. We've got this half of the trellis and then we have the three pepper plants here. Here's another box that he built. He built three extra boxes for me. There's the one behind and then there's one here. Another fake snake. <laughs> uh, we also have four tomato plants here and I have a trellis also to tie these back on. We have beefsteak tomato, cherry tomato, Roma, and Cherokee purple. And then we have a few radishes, you know, down here. And they probably need to be picked. Uh, back here I have an asparagus bed. And in hopes that one day this thing will just be full of asparagus. We do get quite a few asparagus. And as you see, we actually have a few stragglers here. And those have grown up and gone to seed. But, so that's the asparagus bed. I've got cantaloupe growing back here. I'm trying to grow it up on a trellis. And this is a very late start that I did, so... Hopefully we'll get some cantaloupe. I don't know if it's going to happen or not. But if this thing starts going crazy, I'll just kind of spread the vines out that way. But as of now, the, I'm training them to climb up that trellis so they're doing pretty good. And then here we have some mint. Behind here I have some eggplant. Um, I'm not sure if you saw my last video, but I got a really big eggplant off of this one. They're just not producing very much. Oh, there's a little frog. Hello, little frog. Look at you. Can you see a little frog? <laughs> He's enjoying the eggplant. So I think those are Japanese eggplant, if I'm not mistaken. And then by, behind here I have, this trellis is the trellis that I've always grown my cucumbers on. Um, but since we got the other one from my cousin that we made into a trellis, um, I put this one back here. And these are also late starts. I decided to put it back here and put some cucumbers in the ground. They're doing pretty good. Alright, and then over here is a Roma. 
tomato plant and I picked off a whole bunch of green romas. I'm hoping that it cools down eventually. I left some on. Left a few on. Looks like we've got a baby growing here. Triple digits here in Oklahoma. And I'm sure it is, you know, a, a ton of other places too, but it's triple digits here. It's just really, really hot. Uh, I've got some green beans growing here on the fence. I've got rabbits back here. That's where I keep my rabbits. But here's my green beans, and I don't necessarily need green beans right now, but I thought, hey, I'll throw them in the ground and get some fresh ones. I have yet to see a green bean. A lot of little blooms. I have onions in here. Just some green onions. I had to put this here because of those cats. Okay, and then if I just turn around this way, this is another box that they built. That's the third one that they built. And I also have four tomato plants in that one. As you can see, they've gotten really tall. All the tomato plants have gotten really tall. And they have produced quite a bit. But, like I said, I picked most of the green ones off. Now look, see, I do have a whole lot left, though. Keep those going as long as I can and see if they'll ripen up and this is just kind of our sitting area here we sit out here and have coffee and I use this to tie up my tomato plants I got these sheer these uh, pruning scissors at the Dollar Tree I don't know how many years ago man they work fantastic I've had them for years okay so let's go back over this way and uh, here are my Dollar Tree Towers. Those are, this is the one that I put flowers in and it is just doing fabulous. Um, my kids always bring me feathers and I love feathers. We have them everywhere. But anyway, so this, I wanted to show you that this has stayed very sturdy. We've got that metal rod and you can check out that video of how we did that. And here's the other one that we have herbs planted in. There's oregano. Sage, rosemary, basil. I did plant a lot in here, and these empty ones that you see, and for some reason they just didn't come up. So I'm not sure what happened there. Some did, and some didn't. And I have a lot. I've picked a lot of the herbs off of here, and I have some inside that are dry, and I have some that um, I just, you know, use fresh for recipes and stuff. But just great to have fresh herbs out here growing that you can come out and pick. So we'll walk over this way. And uh, those praying mantis, just a little update on those. They never did hatch. I'm not sure exactly what happened there, but they did not hatch. You know, it's just as well. I got those praying mantis mainly because of squash bugs. I always get squash bugs. And since we have put squash in these big giant planters and zucchini, I haven't seen a squash bug yet. I don't know if that has anything to do with it since they're off the ground or what, but man, I'm just tickled pink about it. So these are not looking too great. <laughs> they are, you know, we, we got some zucchini off of it, but boy, it sure did die down. I don't know, this one too. I've cut a lot off of it. Not sure what happened to those. Maybe just the heat, but I had those two zucchini and two squash. Here's a squash and then there's a squash. So, now there's one that needs to be picked. It's pretty big. So, those are just straight neck squash. And let me get out of the, get my shadow out of that <laughs> picture. But these are the marigolds. And I planted just, I guess I poured a ton in this little planter here. And they were not blooming. These are just Dollar Tree, you know, in the box. They just sprinkle. I use them every year and they actually just work great and then this one is a cayenne pepper plant I think we're finally getting some peppers here's one finally getting some peppers there and I think I forgot to show you my banana pepper we'll go back over this way here's the cucumber I you know what those like I said they went crazy after I pruned them I mean they just went wild look at how beautiful that is just beautiful so like I said just as well that the praying mantis didn't hatch I'm cool with that let's walk through this beautiful trellis oh the shade is nice so here is the banana pepper plant and this thing produced a lot of peppers when we first 
planted it and it started growing but it looks like I'm down to two we've got some blooms on there so hopefully those will hatch too when the weather cools down a little bit So I just wanted to mention that I grow national pickling cucumbers here on the homestead. Um, I have grown slicers before, but I just prefer to grow all pickling cucumbers because, you know, let's face it, slicer cucumbers, you don't, they don't pickle very well. They get soft, they get soggy and slimy. Um, you can always have a pickling cucumber on a salad if you want or have it with ranch or whatever. It's crispy, it's delicious. So I just prefer to grow um, the pickling cucumbers here. So here's a view of our small garden from back here in the shop in the bunny wabbits. Okay, let's talk about these chairs. I got these chairs off the side of the road. I was going to um, take my son over to his friend's house and we had to head to town to do that. He lives on the other side of town. But anyway, um, these were sitting out by the side of the road kind of by their trash can I thought were they just sitting out there were some kids sitting out there or, you know are they throwing those away or what I I looked closer and there was a sign on there that said free and I thought what's wrong with those chairs so anyway I grabbed them up and they are fantastic so I got some free chairs there love that the hammock was also given to us my dad gave us that hammock I have some potatoes growing back there in that box literally a cardboard box if you can see it that was kind of a last minute thing. I think that there might be a couple of sprouts. We can go back there and look. Well, there's a couple of sprouters. A couple of sprouts. I think I put like three in here. So we'll see what happens with that. Goodness gracious, there's Big Daddy. That is the number one barn cat. He came first. And there is our outhouse that we're working on over there. And I'll have a video on that once we get it completed. That's gonna be wonderful. So we'll walk over this way. And here are some elephant ears that we planted this year. Those are mammoth elephant ears that I bought. I just did this yesterday. I put the um, bricks around it and then I put some straw in there. I started thinking maybe straw is not a great idea to have right next to your house but you know we'll put mulch or something in there later on. It was just they were so bare and I don't know if it's that dirt or what but they were just not retaining water. It looked like they were burning up so I've got those covered in hay now. My camera keeps dying on me. It's not really even hot out here yet but these are my begonias that I, ha that I have. Aren't they pretty in that box? It's a citronella plant that was on the front porch and something was just really eating it. Um, so I took it inside and trimmed it up a little bit and there's some little growths on it now. This is on the back deck where we're at right now. There's that ant trap and you can watch that video too. That works. We had um, those big black ants. Are they fire ants? Or, I'm not sure, but let me take carpenter ants. That's what they are. They're gone and they were all around here. You'd come out here and they'd be crawling up this tree. So that stuff works there's proof and this is a moringa tree that my brother brought over to us or sent over and this was about to here when we first got it and it's just grown up that tall <laughs> it's beautiful back here I have some lemon thyme um, I guess maybe I planted cilantro in here and I forgot that I had planted cilantro hello mr. grasshopper what is that thing Anyway, look at him. Kind of albino. He looks like one of those leaf. Maybe he's a gecko type of get guy. I don't know. Anyway, so I had planted cilantro in here. And I forgot that I had planted cilantro. I got this lemon thyme I put in here. And it just went crazy. And uh, I think it just suffocated my cilantro. So let's go down this way and I'll show you what else I've got going on. Over here I had my lettuce, um, kale, Swiss chard. I had stuff growing in here, which I will do also um, for the winter garden. I'll use this. 
Over here, I did the root stout method on potatoes. I put them down in the ground and I covered them with straw. And we have only a few little growths going on here. We'll see what happens with that. Okay, now we're at the front of the property, uh, front of the house, and I wanted to show you this. We've got green beans growing here. These were my rattlesnake green beans. That's what I grew on this trellis a couple of times. And I haven't in like two years, but look, they just come back. I planted some roses here, actually. My son planted them, but we've got roses growing here that should be climbing up. We got one rose off of that this year, <laughs> and it went kaput, so I need to clean this up. Here's some more of those elephant ears that um, I bought. Those are mammoth elephant ears. Pretty huge. And I think I'm going to probably put some mulch down here, just like uh, the other ones. I think I'll do that today. And here's this. This guy, he... He watches over anybody that comes to the front door. See, he's here to greet you. Yikes. I might need to water these begonias. So here's some of what I've picked today. I've got some beautiful peppers. I've got a couple of cherry tomatoes and some cucumbers, a giant squash, and then a bonus, I found a nature Barbie. As I'm, peel, as I'm pulling some weeds, I pull this chick up. She's saying, hi, I see your little hand. I find these Barbies all over the place. <laughs> I sure hope you guys enjoyed this garden tour video. I think it's just so important, uh, or at least I enjoy being able to, you know, look at my videos later on, like in the wintertime or whatever, and look at the garden to see, you know, when it's gone, to see what I've grown, what's worked out, what hasn't worked out, where I placed everything and stuff like that. It's just kind of like a journal. It's like a video journal. So anyway, I encourage you to do the same. I really enjoy it. Um, if you did enjoy this garden tour, if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoy my content, uh, please don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button, and I sure do appreciate your guys' support. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Isn't that thing just the best? Daughter-in-law got that for me for Christmas, and she had them put blue feathers on it. It's awesome. While I'm up here at the front porch, I'm going to show off my scarf I got for 50 cents at my 50 cent thrift store in Skytook. And I always just change out my scarf on that wreath. I've done a video on that before too. But um, everybody just loves it and it's like it's the cheapest decoration I've ever had. <laughs>